Yeah, so I'm a kidney transplant coordinator. I started in liver, but I did live liver for, um, I think, six years. And I wanted to just learn different organs. So I wanted to move to kidney and maybe heart and then lung and other organs eventually, but I wanted to move to kidney. And what I realized in, in kidney, oh my God, there's a lot of patients. And this, this um, hospital, they have, they have the biggest program in the area. So I just wanted to compare like from the liver where I was in a different hospital, uh, I was the wait list um, coordinator. So I had about 250 patients on the liver list waiting for transplant. Compared to kidney in this other facility, there's almost 5,000 patients. So it's a, a lot of patients waiting for kidney. And the sad part, I realize I haven't seen all the charts of the five, almost 5,000 patients, but of the charts that I have seen, there's a lot of Filipino. And it's really, really heartbreaking. Uh, a lot of Filipino, uh, all because of diabetes and hypertension. And that is the most common uh, medical problem Filipinos have, hypertension and diabetes. And yeah, they ended up with, on dialysis waiting for a kidney transplant. So I, I have been, since I moved to transplant, I've been advocating for, for us to, hopefully for our, um, you know, uh, Filipino to be more open to organ transplant and, and be a donor uh, because there's a lot of people waiting for organs. And you, you can, you, for kidney, you can live with one kidney. Um, so, you know, if you had to donate your kidney, you'll be, um, you can, you, you can give your kidney for liver. They also do partial liver, but, uh, you know, most of the time they don't, uh, they can still do living donor for kid uh, liver, but most especially for kidney, because yes, you can live with just one kidney. And since we are, like I said, this one facility, we have almost 5,000 patients waiting for kidney. It's a lot of people. And, um, there's a lot of people die every day waiting for organs. And if we can, uh, give them that gift uh, so they can live, especially they, we have ki kids too waiting for organs. Um, so it's a, it's a great gift to be able to give to someone. Why do you think there are so many Filipinos with diabetes and these kidney problems? Um, I know we, we, that's been a question and that people have been trying to do research. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, because of Diet, I think there has uh, there has to be genetic uh, predisposition because even uh, Filipino that are not overweight uh, are diabetic. So um, I don't really know. I think they do. They still need to do more research, and that's another problem because we don't have a lot of research involving Filipino. So if we have, uh, you know, there's more people that participate in research, they might be able to really figure it out. And the same thing with cancer, we have a lot more cancer uh, in, in our, in, in Filipinos as well. Uh, so we just, hopefully there's a lot more Filipinos that participate in research. So, because there's definitely something there that makes us more prone to diabetes. Um, it doesn't help that our diet is full of rice and bread and, and <laughs> carbs, um, but yeah, so it's probably um, diet and uh, lifestyle, uh, that's for sure, it doesn't help, but I think there's the gen genetic uh, portion of that that makes us uh, more vulnerable to these diseases, which is really unfortunate. And also, um, um, this is probably not so here, but mostly in the Philippines, they don't uh, like to go to the doctor. So they don't go until they are actually sick. So, you know, they don't really find out until their diabetes is out of control because diabetes is, um, you know, manageable. You know, you change your diet, you exercise more. And if you had done that early on, and maybe it wouldn't end up being that it had affected your kidney. Um, if you had catch it early on and you're able to adjust 
you know, made some changes into your lifestyle and diet, and it wouldn't lead to the damaged kidney. But I think most people don't see the doctor and they didn't realize until the diabetes is out of control, already damaged the kidney and damaged the eyesight and all those other things. And, you know, even them losing their fingers or toes and things like that. And that's when they actually go to the doctor and, and find out how severe their diabetes is. Mm. And same thing with hypertension. Uh, we do eat a lot of salt, like patisse. <laughs> it's really good, but um, there's a lot of salt in the diets and that doesn't help with, uh, with hypertension. Mm. 